Well, welcome back to Court Farms Episode 2. Now, you'll see that this has replaced the roleplay series this week, partly because I just haven't had time to get that episode uh, recorded and edited in time, and I didn't want to skip and upload a day. So that's why this is here in that place. Um, but otherwise, we will try to schedule these for on a Thursday every week. That's when the usual court farm is going to be planned for in my, my schedule. So today we are going to be mowing this grass in this bit of grassland space and then we are going to plough the ground and reseed it back as grass but once it's been ploughed it will create a, an actual field. And then, with any luck, we can use precision farming to get some soil sampling and we can fertilise lime, etc. accordingly. But yeah, at the minute it's just a blank field. We're going to try and create that into something a bit more substantial. Now, I must try and turn this autosave mod off because it does disrupt the, uh, the recording. But for now, it's currently on. Now, I am going to have to do this out of cab. I don't think I can... Well, can I? Maybe I could. Actually, yeah, we're going to go this way around. We'll, we'll do it with the cab view. For a, I say for a change, we did it last time. Uh, but yeah, I want to try and use cab a bit more frequently. Partly just to get used to being as if this was actually being farmed. We'll see. I'm not going to hold myself to that fully. But yeah. So, like I said, I'm not entirely certain um, what's going to have been released from Giants by the time you see this, because GamesCon is currently ongoing. Uh, at the time of me recording this, and they have only just dropped the first teaser trailer showing the baby animals and the tornado. So that certainly looks interesting, and it's certainly making FS25 appear to be more appealing. So I am very excited to see uh, see what else is released and obviously when the game comes out. We are still a couple of months away. So I am sure there's ample more information that's going to get released. So again, for those who are watching, um, maybe give some comments about what you expect from FS25. Are you going to buy it? Are you not buying it? Um, are you looking forward to it? Are you not looking forward to it? Just a few thoughts, just to see um, see where the land lies with yourselves. Obviously when it does come out, I will be migrating across onto that platform. Now, I don't know if I will be going fully over to that straight away. I suspect not. I am going to continue the roleplay on FS22 because the map won't be on FS25. I may continue this series on FS22. I don't want to have more than three concurrent series. Uh, and I know that Robert Scythe and I will be doing and what you play together as well at some stage. Not early doors with FS25 because we will both want to get used to the uh, the game and what functions and features it, it holds. But yeah, we are planning to get together and do something on that as a team. And we are going to do it as a team, so it will be a, a cooperative, not a competitive. 
and I'll be interested to see how that pans out. Mr. Scythe is super realistic, Mr. Dex is not so much. Though I think at this stage I will be compelled to be more realistic on the basis that custom mods won't be part of the game early doors. Yeah, my, my aim is to play this game, and it is a game. Uh, I have a real job, I like my real job, but it is not as a full-time farmer. Right, I am going to finish this off, and then... Um, get back to you at the next step which will be windrowing and then bailing. Right, well, that is the field cut, windrowed, baled, and wrapped. Now, these are 100 centimeter, 180 centimeter bales. Now, my bale trailer can pick up 180 centimeter bales, but it can't pick up 180 centimeter wrapped bales, and I don't know why. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cheat a little bit and use bale spikes on the bales and whilst I appreciate in real life that would not be practical because it pierced the film and then that would cause some rotting and damage I don't really have a choice at the minute because my bale trailer isn't working as I thought it would 
Had I known that, I would have done 125 centimetre bales. But, we are here now. I also bought this with the money that we had from, obviously the 50,000 we started with, plus the 7,000 from the contract field. I'll be honest, I thought it was a tour behind where I would then just drive around and pick the bales up. It's not. I'm not entirely liking this one. So again, I think I'm going to get rid of it and swap it out for something different. But I don't need it anymore this episode, so we will cross that bridge at the next time we get back onto Court Farms. Anyway, you'll have to give me a little bit of time just to get these all sorted out. Once that's all done, I will get back to you when we are going to start ploughing the field before seeding it. Right, well... We have a different issue now. These bales are all linked together. So I don't know how I'm going to move them. Yeah, I'm, I'm now at a loss. They are all linked as one bale. Right, well, after that faffing around, trying to get things sorted, I now have 14 bales in the silage pit, fully fermented because I've spawned them in and I've deleted the other ones, and we are now here with the plough. You can see the field has got some soil damage in it. I have the slips destroys fields turned on. I feel like the settings might be a bit harsh currently because there's a lot of destruction within this field after just one cut and bale collection. So I might have to adjust that shortly, but for now we are going to create our field.
Right, well, I may come to regret this, but I don't plan to pick the stones out of this field. I'm going to put grass in it. But I think we've been on this episode for long enough without having to do an extra task that wasn't expected because I hadn't realised I'd left stones turned on. Right, well, that is the field now ploughed and seeded with grass and with any luck, come the next month or two it will be fully grown and ready to essentially start cutting again. So we've done a fair bit, hopefully it's been enjoyable and watchable and I look forward to seeing you very very soon. So for me for now I will say goodbye and for those that have been watching, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.